Hey folks, I'm Dave with Dagon Lasercraft. I recently started a project to engrave a greeting card on some cardstock, which I've never done before. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a materials test to get the proper shading. It'll not only help me, but it'll help you folks as well. So we're going to do the materials test in Lightburn, and then we'll engrave with the Xtool D1 Pro 40 watt laser. And it doesn't matter which laser you have, the steps in Lightburn will be the same. So let's do that materials test now. Okay, here we are in Lightburn. And we need to go up to the top left to laser tools. Down to materials test. On the left we have speed. On the right we have power. We're going to make a few minor adjustments. The minimum for speed we're going to take to 50 millimeters per second. And for the max, we're going to go 150 millimeters per second. The 10 is the number of boxes we'll have in our grid. And this is what the grid looks like. We'll come back to it in a minute. And the box height is 5 millimeters. This Y center is just the last position of your laser, the same with the X. On the... On the power side, we're going to leave the minimum at 10, take the max to 20. And yours may be very different. Uh, I've got a 40 watt laser, so it uh, could be a big difference. Now we need to go down to edit the material setting. Uh, you can put your minimum speed and max power up here. In some cases, this may or may not matter if your initial parameters exceed what is here, then they will uh, control it. So, but in this case, with the max power being 20, it's, uh, it's necessary. The uh, parameters here, they're fine. I've never had reason to change them with a materials test. There may be reasons down the road to change them. I understand that overscanning is much more important when dealing with photos and some other types of engraving. So you may want to do some, do some research on that. Uh, so we're good here. We're set for a fill. We're leaving the air assist on. And we're clicking OK. Alright, so edit the text setting. So these settings are to engrave the uh, alphanumeric characters on the test. And I'm hoping this is good. I don't know. I haven't done cardboard before, so we'll find out. Uh, you want this set for line. And the other settings are fine. Uh, there's a lot of good information from the light burn folks that gets real deep about some of these settings. I suggest you go watch some of those videos. Uh, but for the test, we should be fine. So we're clicking OK. And now we just need to go get set up in the laser. Well, let's do our preview. All right, we got a preview here. And we're going to hit the play button, play button and let it play through. So that's what you should expect to see on the paper. And then you can select the uh, whatever looks best to you. There's no right or wrong answer when it comes to uh, engraving. It's whatever you want it to be. So once you get these tests done, you can, uh, you can select however you want it to look and go from that. All right, clicking OK. Now we just need to get set up in the laser, uh, come back and hit frame to make sure you're on your card stock, and then start to send the code over to the laser. So let me get set up, and I will be right back to do that. Okay, we got the uh, card stock in the laser bed. We just need to uh, do a frame. 
and send the code over. Uh, this is the first time I've tried cardstock with a materials test, so if we start a fire, we'll just put it out. Safety first. All right, let's do a frame. Okay, looks good. I need to turn on the uh, exhaust fan and the air assist so it might get a little loud and then we'll send it on over. Okay, so our materials test finished, and again, our scale is 50 millimeters per second to 150 millimeters per second, 10% power to 20% power, and it appears the best result came from something around 70 millimeters per second and 10% power. So I was planning a project for a greeting card, and I knew it was best to do this test first so I could get the proper settings. And I would suggest any project you're planning to test your material, get your settings up front. You can save them for future use and you'll be doing yourself a big favor. All right, folks, we finished our materials test card. So we now know the proper speed and power we're looking for to get the desired shade for our greeting card. And it'll vary depending on which laser you have, but the steps in light burn will be the same. I really appreciate you folks watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, please like and subscribe. Check back often for new videos, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.